Could Tesla soon use lithium iron phosphate battery packs in the United States to make a $39,000 long range Model Y and a 300 mile Model 3 for the same price as the current Model 3 Standard Range Plus? Let's examine the evidence and see why this is very likely. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Before we dive into today's video content, I wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and also Inku Kang, and also thank you to these other supporters. If you'd like to find out more about the Cleaner Watt Patreon community, I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. We know based on Elon's comments and also some news articles that we've seen lately that Tesla plans to sell a long range version of the Model 3, a rear wheel drive long range version in China with lithium iron phosphate battery packs. Here's what Elon Musk had to say about that in the Q2 2020 conference call. Our total vehicle efficiency has gotten good enough with a Model 3, for example, that we actually are comfortable having an iron phosphate battery pack in the Model 3 in China. And that will be in volume production later this year. Elon Musk then went on to say that they expect a 300 mile range from this Model 3 with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. But the question is, is this really only for China or could Tesla bring this same cheaper rear wheel drive Model 3 to the United States and also put that same pack in the Model Y to make a more affordable long range rear wheel drive Model Y. I believe this is very likely and I want to examine the evidence and show you why I believe it's possible and likely that this will happen. Recently on Twitter, Troy Teslike put a link to this article which stated that Tesla would be working with CATL to make batteries for more than just China. In this article that he linked to, it says, quote, Zing said CATL is scheduled to provide batteries for Tesla starting later this year. And their cooperation is not limited to China and not even to battery procurement. So based on this China Daily article, it sure appears like Tesla will be using these CATL lithium iron phosphate battery packs in the United States as well. But would this only apply to the Model 3 or does Tesla plan to bring out a version in the Model Y as well? Here's a tweet from Elon Musk from July of this year that makes me believe that Tesla will also use the lithium iron phosphate battery pack in the long range rear wheel drive Model Y coming out soon. Jason on Twitter asked about the standard range Model Y as it was taken down from the configuration page on Tesla's website. Elon Musk said they will not be making a standard range Model Y because the range under 250 miles would not be acceptable. He instead said, quote, we have reduced pricing on the Model Y long range dual motor and will offer a long range single motor Y in a few months, which improves affordability while still keeping the product excellent. Of course, Elon Musk could be talking about just bringing out a long range rear wheel drive version with a standard 2170 battery pack. But based on some of Elon Musk's past statements about the affordability of Tesla's vehicles, I believe Tesla is looking to reduce the cost of their vehicles as much as possible while still allowing for a long range around 300 miles or so. And so I believe it's very possible that they will also bring this same lithium iron phosphate pack to the long range rear wheel drive Model Y as well. I'll show you some numbers in a minute why this would actually be financially possible for Tesla, but I believe they could bring out a Model 3 long range rear wheel drive unit for around the same price as the standard range plus is today, and they could still have an EPA rated range of around 300 miles. I also believe they could bring out a long range rear wheel drive Model Y for just under $40,000 that once again offers around 300 miles of EPA rated range. Lithium iron phosphate battery packs make this possible because they are cheaper than the current chemistry that Tesla uses, the nickel, cobalt, aluminum, or NCA chemistry that Tesla uses in the 2170 battery packs. 
Lithium iron phosphate battery packs are cheaper, but there is one big drawback, and that is the energy density problem with lithium iron phosphate battery packs. The current NCA chemistry, nickel cobalt aluminum chemistry that Tesla uses in the 2170 battery packs and also in the 18650 battery packs found in the Model S and the Model X, that chemistry is a lot more energy dense than the LFP or lithium iron phosphate battery packs. However, this is actually less of a problem than you might think when you look at the actual energy density at the pack level. According to this Clean Technica article, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry makes it easier to have a cell to pack technology which saves a lot on the packing materials and the cooling needed for these battery packs. Because of this, according to this Nickel Institute article, CATL and BYD have both announced new lithium iron phosphate battery pack designs that have an energy density over 140 watt hours per kilogram. To see how this 140 watt hours per kilogram compares at the pack level to the 2170 cells found in the Model 3 and the Model Y, let's look at Tesla's current battery pack. The current energy density of the 2170 nickel cobalt aluminum cells used in the Model 3 and the Model Y, those have an energy density of around 247 watt hours per kilogram. However, when you add all the packaging materials and the cooling necessary for these packs, the actual energy density at the pack level drops down to 159.5 watt hours per kilogram. Notice that the actual active battery materials in this pack are only 65% of the weight. The other 35% of the weight is the cooling and packing of this battery pack. So when you look at the pack level weight between a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack with an energy density of 159.5 watt hours per kilogram and a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack with the energy density of 140 watt hours per kilogram, you'll see there that the weight is very similar. I'll talk about in just a minute why I chose this 68 kilowatt hour battery pack size for the lithium iron phosphate cells, but it is a significant number. So we know based on Elon Musk's comments in the Q2 2020 conference call that we mentioned earlier in the video that Tesla is able to achieve around 300 miles of range in the long range rear wheel drive Model 3 being sold in China soon. We also know that the long range Model 3 with the lithium iron phosphate battery packs, it will not be possible for Tesla to put a 75 kilowatt hour pack because of the little bit of a loss of energy density. However, I believe Tesla will still be able to put in around a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack and I'll show you why. Although the rear wheel drive long range Model 3 is not currently available, Tesla does have a 2020 model that has been tested by the EPA to have a range of 330 miles. In order to figure out just how efficient this Model 3 is, we need to take the battery size at 75 kilowatt hours divided by the 330 miles of EPA rated range, and that gives us an efficiency of 227 watt hours per mile. So if we use that same 227 watt hours per mile efficiency with a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack, Tesla should still be able to achieve a 300 mile range in the Model 3. Also, according to my math, with a long range rear wheel drive Model Y and a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack, I believe Tesla could still achieve a range of around 294 miles and an efficiency of around 231 watt hours per mile. When it comes to the cost implications of the lithium iron phosphate battery pack versus the NCA or the nickel cobalt aluminum battery packs, here's a chart illustrating just how Tesla could produce a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack in the lithium iron phosphate chemistry for the same price as the battery pack currently found in the standard range plus model three. If we assume that the standard range plus battery pack is around 50 kilowatt hours and it could be slightly more, but let's just assume 50 kilowatt hours, then at $140 per kilowatt hour, Tesla pays around $7,000 for the standard range plus battery pack. Based on reports that I've read, it's very possible to achieve a cost per kilowatt hour at the pack level with these lithium iron phosphate cells of around $100. 
So if Tesla is paying $100 per kilowatt hour at the pack level for a 68 kilowatt hour pack, that would bring the 68 kilowatt hour battery pack price to about the same level as a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack with the NCA chemistry. So because of these cost savings, I believe it's very possible that Tesla will use the lithium iron phosphate battery packs in the United States as well. And this will allow them to bring out two long range versions, one of the Model 3 and one of the Model Y, with around 300 miles of range for a lot less than we thought possible a few months ago. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Thank you so much.